is she doing humping that boy? Why? Yeah, if you don't like me, that's your problem. When I let it bother me, that's my problem. And I got enough problems. I got enough. I got the sauce. You got the sauce. But I care what you think. Hey friends, welcome to part two. I'm not doing no introductions. Y'all know who we be. I got it. And if you don't, that means you didn't watch part one. So I'm going to leave it up in the cards. Okay, cool. All American Homecoming. We about to get into it. What's this? Season two, episode five. Sure. I don't even know. But y'all know. So that's all that matters. <laughs> so yeah, let's get into it. Ooh. This episode, it pinched me. Okay. I was really like this. Post I was like, I couldn't blink. I feel like I was gonna miss something. So much happened in this episode, I don't even know if I'm gonna remember the cap. I ain't gonna lie. No cap here. And so we just gonna hit the main point. Clearly, the bomb threat. And the crazy part is, it really wasn't even a threat, right? Because people was coming for them in real life. Because the school down the way, they actually found the device. So it didn't need to play play like that no more. I know when I was in high school, they stayed doing bomb threats, but for safety purposes, you know, you already got, you know, you got quit and all the things. Yeah. But it's getting crazy out here, for real. And I'm really glad they shed some light on that because people really be taking it for a joke, i.e. the girl on the tennis team. That girl just worries, she just worries me. I'm serious, she just really worries me. But let's back up just a little bit to yes. the part where Cam <laughs> got the call. Mm -hmm. You know, and to see his face, you know that whatever was being said on the other end of that phone affected him. Right. Because it showed the whole episode. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that FBI agent was really getting on my dang nerve. Because Cam went from a victim to a suspect. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Mm -hmm. Out of pocket. Out of pocket. I did not like that whatsoever. I also didn't like Cam's hair that much. But anyway, that's all another thing. Um whole time. I was gonna say, I appreciate how um how Miss Ma'am told him FBI agent, I'm gonna be in there when you talk to him. And he decided he just gonna still do what he wants to do. Mm -hmm. Sir, you the FBI, but you but you're not this head of this school. Okay? I said with the parent with the with the children whose parents who left me in charge of their kids, I'm their mom right now. I said you don't talk to him without me. You know what I mean? Like people really with titles, they really be they really be doing it. And some small itty bitty part of me feel like at least initially felt like he had something to do with it. You know what I mean? Like when he was like, nah, stay here, no, nah, don't do this, don't you know like like he was holding Holding something. You know what I'm saying? Like, sir, calm down. Yeah, I didn't like his attitude at all. Very good. Mm -hmm. At all. So, we saw how everybody was, you know, in different places and mm -hmm. different things like that, you know, and even on the court, how they eventually ended up kind of coming together and having a moment of we're not going to allow this to stress us. Let's just come together. And of course, at first, Miss Ma'am was a little resistant. Oh, let me back up. Let me back up. Let me back up. Um, <laughs> um, the girl. Uh, Which one? With the baby. The main girl. With the baby? Simone? Simone. I know. A little brain fart, you know. My bad. So, Simone and the fellow, you know, they were kind of having a moment of, you know, bond building, if you will, because, you know, she was learning, um, he was learning more about her. And then even with the whole anxiety thing, she realized that they had that in common. Right. And I think during this episode, I liked him a little more. 
I'm learning more about him. Mm. You know, um, I still don't necessarily give them the other, but like, I'm just learning more about him as a person. And he seems okay. Um, especially in that moment. And so, you know, I like to see how everybody was coming together. Um, you know, just not allowing the situation to overwhelm and stress them, mm -hmm. you know. Um, at least they came together for that time. And that's what and was For important. that moment, right? Um, and then in another part of the building, you had Nate and... Keisha. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Yeah, because her and um, the student body president... Kind of bump heads. Which I can't never remember his name, but. Child, I don't care about his name. Because he irritates me too. You know, there's so many people that irritate me on this stuff. But, you know, it's neither here nor there at this moment. But, um, <laughs> um, yeah. So he was, you know, having his little moment, his little speech or whatever. So him and Keisha were bumping heads. And, of course, Nate had a little moment and went on. And disappeared into the elevator. Mm hmm. <laughs> And, you know, so that was going on. And then you had um, uh, da Damon. Mm -hmm. And he ended up meeting with his birth mother, JJ's mom. And, JR's mom. I mean, yeah, yeah. I, you know, I give people different names. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Um, anywho. <laughs> um, I come here. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, you know. They had their little meeting, whatever. And then, of course, Mr. Worst and Tail had to come. And ruin it like he always do. Like he always do. And so, Damon gave this speech, right? Mm -hmm. And, you know, him and, the, him and the mom had their moment. And he had, he had a dad come. And Damon was like, that wasn't for you. <laughs> I was like, dang. He fried. Shut him down. That was a fry. Like... Dang. I, I felt a little bit embarrassed and bad for him. <laughs> just a smidge. Right? Because I'm thinking, okay, you know, everybody coming together, having some act right and everything. But, you know, JR, when he explained, mm -hmm. that helped Damon to, you know, put some stuff in perspective. Put, exactly. Because he was able to see what it was. And he still had a really, really great childhood, which was so helpful. They didn't just, yeah, they got rid of him. Right, but it could have been worse. It could have been so much worse. And I guess he looked at that, you know, he looked at the situation and how J.R. felt, how he felt. And it's just, it was it was beautiful how it all came together. And even the dad, you know, towards, at the end of it, he said, you know what? Because Damon's issue was, you never got to know me. Even since you've been here, mm -hmm. you haven't tried to get to know me. And I have a problem with that. That's yeah. basically what he was saying. And so for him to hear him, mm -hmm. like really hear him and say, listen, this is where I'm going to be at every Wednesday at what? Seven. seven until you decide to you come. Ready? I'm yeah. going to be there. That's, that's a huge step. That's a huge step. And so, you know, once Damon finally decides to go, you know, maybe they can kind of hash some things out. And, you know, come together. Maybe we'll like him a little better. Exactly. Because <laughs> right now, I don't like him either. Listen. He, he, he literally like a little, like a, a million, a little milk under Lando. And y'all know how I feel about him. <laughs> that's it. That's all. Mm -hmm. But my question to you is, my lover. Mm -hmm. Do you think Damon's mom do it come on purpose? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Mm hmm I want to know, do you, you think, like, maybe she's just not ready to be in the same space, knowing, like, that he knows who his birth parents are now? You know but didn't, didn't she say something in the text that she wasn't ready? I didn't get to, I didn't get to read it. If I'm not mistaken, in one of those text messages, she ended up saying, basically, she wasn't ready. And that's her right. Mm -hmm. You know, I have no doubt that Damon is still going to love and regard her as mom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, um, 
you know, that was a tricky situation. But I'm just glad him and his brother have their relationship. I'm glad that the conversation happened the way it happened. Mm -hmm. And I even look forward to him and his biological dad developing some sort of relationship. And they can begin to heal. Mm -hmm. Well, Damon can begin to heal. I don't know how they did it. At, you know, it's hurt. But maybe it bothered him that he had to give his child away. And maybe him acting like that was to guard his guilt. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. that, you know, sometimes people do that. You know, people put up walls of emotion to hide their emotion. Walls right. to hide their emotion. Right. And, you know, because of their own guilt and stuff like that. So, um, <clears throat> so, yeah, so I like that. Um, before I get to this shocking part, what else we got? <laughs> Mm. <clears throat> the amount of emotion that president was going through, y'all. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I, I like it, it kind of felt like this happened before. You know what I'm saying? Like, but not with her as president, but like when she was in school. You know, like it, it was getting familiar. Familiar, right. Um, or even not even the bomb for itself, just the whole concept of black people being put in situations like this. So maybe, you know, when she was in college, some, some stuff like this may have happened. And maybe that's when she was protesting, you know. Mm. She did used to be involved in a lot of that kind of stuff. So, but yeah, that, that my, my face was wet quite a bit. <laughs> In this episode, because mm -hmm. it it really, really, really was, and then when Cam came down those steps, it's like, oh Lord, it was just, it was just so much power. It's a reality that unfortunately happens. Mm -hmm. You know, people are being targeted because of their their skin color, mm -hmm. and you know, and so I'm sure this episode brought about a lot of unpleasant memories. You know. And some triggers uh -huh. for some people. Um, and the one part of the episode that kind of sucked was how in that moment of, you know, possible or impending tragedy, everybody came together. You know, the people, the girls, you know, yep. or whatever. For the dialogue. For the tenant, yeah. Okay, okay. But as soon as things were back to normal, Things went back to normal, meaning they were on their separate ways, yeah, not and functioning it, as a unit. And it was crazy because it was like they kind of wanted to stay in that moment, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Because Thea turned around for a minute, like she wanted to say something mm -hmm. to Simone or to see if she was going to turn around too. And then when she turned back around, then yeah, Simone, of course, because it's CD. <laughs> That's exactly how it always happens. Mm -hmm. And then, you know what I'm saying? But like, had they turned around together? Or, you know what I'm saying? Something of that nature is what would have happened right then. I love the moment they had um, in the cut. When they're talking about feelings. Yeah. And Damon, how she was trying to go. Like, that, that was deep. That was deep. Because we all know how Thea is. She like to keep it locked, locked and tight. I want to like the little girl, but she make it hard. You know, her and Liv should be together. They make it real hard. They on each other nerves. Cause, ooh. But yeah, all right. I'm gonna tell you the truth. I don't really like Damon and Dia yeah, together. I don't. Ooh. I said it. I said it too. I agree. I really like them together. I don't like them together. At all. But you wanna know who I really don't like them? Come on. Simone Orlando. What is she doing humping that boy? Why? Why? I, I give her some reason she kissed that random dude on New Year's. It's all her. See, that her little tail. I ain't gonna say it. You know what you're gonna say. I ain't gonna say it. No me, I'm gonna put it on the screen. I ain't gonna say it. Do it for the time. <laughs> du, 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 du. But, no. Why? 
and then the crazy part of that, him and Damon don't like each other. Exactly. You hear how I say that? Uh, they don't like each other. That's gonna be a hot mess. I keep telling y'all to get her. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be a hot mess. That's you know, all I gotta say about that. Ain't nothing to say about it. And now I'm trying to figure out is he gonna act like his usual ratchet self, or is he gonna be a little softer, a little more chill, a little more relaxed? So he's like, like, oh, I got her. You know what I'm saying? Because you, his ego, <laughs> and be real happy. The funny thing is, he's the male version of Theo. I don't know about that. So Damien got Theo. Now yeah, Simone got the male version of Theo. Lando. I don't like it. Mm. I don't like that. Mm. Okay. Mm -mm. Let's see how this play out. Matter of fact, hold on. Mm -mm. Matter of fact, because you know we were just talking about how him and Damon like each other. Mm -hmm. But Simone and Theo ain't really it's not like that either. Mm. So Damon can't say nothing. He can't say nothing. What are you gonna say? <laughs> oh, okay. Period. That's all I got. That's all I got. Oh, y'all. Mm. Mm. It's getting thick. Okay. But. Let me put a pin in this. Mm -hmm. Coach. He really be looking out for Dana. It's even like a conversation needs to be had. Don't leave. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, he really be he looking out. But hold up. Because I can't end this without saying this. What is Omar's problem with Coach? Who? The president? Yeah. I don't know. Like, she is like, do you remember that one part when she was like closing the blind the and stuff? When he had sex with her mm -hmm. to check on her? She was like, don't check on me. Like, you don't need to check on me. Like, what, what is your problem? I don't know if this was so emotionally triggering for her. But she just really did not want to be bothered, but she knew he would come. Mm -hmm. But she was just like, just don't even come check on me. Just basically just leave me alone. Because it, it Let me process me. this my way. But it was giving weird though because she was like, no matter what, you know, I love you. And I'm like, mm. did that trigger her? Mm -hmm. Because she got some type of feelings for him? I'm but still. Was, but was she with ex president? <laughs> <laughs> I'm still, that's still worse. I don't think, when I see him, all I see is. Drumline. Yes. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know either, but what y'all think? <laughs> what y'all think? I want to hear what y'all think. I'm going to say that at the end of every single video. Why? Every time. Because I want to know. We want to know. I don't say it just to say it. We real life want to know. So drop it. We literally read comments. And we respond. Be waiting on them. Let's get it. Let's do it. <laughs> Run it. Okay? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so listen, y'all. That is all we have for... Tonight, okay? You deal with us for two parts. What else you want from us? I'm kidding. I'm kidding, guys. I'm kidding. But as always, we can't we can't wait for next week to come. So then come back. Show up again for y'all so y'all can keep showing up for us. You show up for us, we show up for you. Yeah, every time. Period. Mm -hmm. Um and I just want y'all to start thinking and just put this in the air. You know, all American does not last forever. So what are some other shows y'all like? What else are y'all watching? You know what I'm saying? Maybe even Christmas movies. Like what 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 y'all got going on so we can recap that. React to those things. You know what I'm saying? So we can always be here, not just seasonal <laughs> when all American pop up and pop through, right? So yeah, let us know. Drop it in the comments. Okay, because again, we wanna know. Anything else then? Not another thing. Alright, y'all. Till next time. I got the sauce, you got the sauce But I care what you think about me Cause I don't think about you at all